Hello Kawaumat! In this video, we define arithmetic sequence. We also derive the formula for the nth term of an arithmetic sequence. And given the first few terms of an arithmetic sequence, we find the common difference in the nth term for a spe specified n. A sequence in which A constant, D is called to be previous term, to get the next term is called an arithmetic sequence. The constant is called the common difference. Okay, try natin kunin yung first term, the common difference, and the next term in the given sequence. Halimbawa, Okay, for the first sequence, we have, meron tayong 2, 5, 8, and 11. So, ano yung first term natin dyan? So, yung first term natin dyan is 2. Dahil sa yung first number dun sa given sequence. Next, ano naman yung common difference? The answer is 3. Bakit? So, kapag minus natin yung 5, ay uh, yung 2 kay 5, that is 3. Yung 5 kay 8, that is also 3. Yung 8 kay 11, that is 3. So, ibig sabihin, yung common difference ng given sequence ay 3. So, ano ngayon ang next term? So, kung ang common difference ay 3, so anong gagawin natin? So, mag a tayo ng 3 kay 11. So, therefore, yung next term natin is 14. Another example. We have 1, 1 and 1 third, 1 and 2 third, 2, 2 and 1 third. So, ano yung first term natin? So, yung first term natin is 1. What is the common difference? 1 third. Why? So, yung minus nyo lang. Subtract nyo lang yung 1 and 1 third minus 1 para makuha nyo yung common difference. So, itong common difference na ito, ito yung idadagdag nyo dito kay 2 and 1 third para makuha yung next term. So, ang next term natin is 2 and 2 third. Another example, we have 17, 12, 7, 2, and negative 3. So, ano yung first term natin? 17. So, ano naman yung common difference? Negative 5. 12 minus 17 is negative 5. So, therefore, mag-add tayo dito kay negative 3 ng negative 5. So, the next term is negative 8. Gamit yung unang example, i-derive natin yung n term of the arithmetic sequence. So, gamit yung nauna nating halimbawa kanina. Yung 2, 5, 11. So, ano nga ulit yung difference natin dyan? Yung common difference? Ang common difference natin dyan ay 3. So, yung A sub 1 natin, yung first term natin is 2. Yung second term natin is 5. Third term, or yung A sub 3, that is 8. And then, A sub 4, that is 11. Let A sub 1 is equal to A sub 1. A sub 2 is equal to A sub 1 plus D. Ano ba yung A sub 1 natin? Ito yun, di ba? 2 plus the common difference that is 3. So, therefore, A sub 2 is equal to A sub 1 plus D. And A sub 3 is equal to A sub 2 plus D. So, yung A sub 2 natin, ito yun, di ba? So, yung A sub 1 plus D tapos... Nagdagdag pa tayo ng D. So, kapag sinimplify natin to magiging A sub 1 plus 2D. Para makuha naman natin yung A sub 4, A sub 3 plus D. Ano yung A sub 3 natin? Ito yon A sub 1 plus 2D plus the common difference. So, kapag kinuha natin o sinimplify natin to magiging A sub 1 plus 3D. So, gamit yung naunang halimbawa natin, madi-derive natin yung n-term of the arithmetic sequence, which is 
your a sub n is equal to the first term. So, yung first term plus n minus 1 times the common difference. Okay, so yan yung n term of an arithmetic sequence. Okay, let's try to have an example. Find the 16th term of the sequence 1, 5, 9, and 13. So, gamit yung n term of arithmetic sequence. So, first, identify muna natin yung mga given. So, yung first term natin or yung a sub 1 natin is 1. Yung common difference is 4. Bakit? Since 9 minus 5 is equal to 4 or 5 minus 1 is equal to 4. And yung n natin is 16. So, dito, ito yung n natin, yung pang 16 term. So, kunin natin yung pang 16. Ano kaya yung number sa pang 16 term? So, gamit yung n term ng arithmetic sequence, magsa-substitute lang tayo. Since na-identify na natin yung mga given natin. So, ano yung a sub 1 natin? 1 plus yung n natin, ito yon 16 minus 1 times yung difference natin or yung common difference is 4. And that is 16 minus 1, that is 15. So, 1 plus 15 times 4. 15 times 4 is 60 plus 1. So, therefore, the 16th term of the sequence is 61. Okay. Next. Find the 20th term of the sequence. We have 25, 23, 21, 19, 17. Again, first, kunin muna natin yung mga given na gagamitin natin sa formula. So, the first term ay 25. Yung common difference ay negative 2. Why? Because 23 minus 25 is negative 2. And then, yung n natin ay 20. So, hinahanap natin ano yung number sa pang 20 term. So, gamit again yung n term ng arithmetic sequence natin. So, substitute lang natin yan. So, your a sub 1 is 25 plus yung n natin ay 20 times the common difference, which is negative 2. So, subtract nyo lang to. 20 minus 1 is 19, times negative 2, that is negative 38. 25 minus 38, that is negative 13. So, therefore, the 20 term, of the sequence is negative 13. Okay, ito naman ay hahanapin natin yung n term. So, find the n term of the sequence 3, 7, 11, and 15. So, paano natin makukuha yung n term? So, gamit yung mga given na to, so yung a sub 1 natin is 3, yung common difference natin ay 4. Bakit 4? Dahil kapag sinubtract natin yung 7 minus 3, the answer is 4. So, ang hinahanap natin is yung n term. Now, so gamit yung arithmetic sequence, so isasubtitute lang natin yung mga given natin. So, yung a sub 1 natin is 3 plus n minus 1 times 4. So, ulit, ang kinukuha natin dito is yung n term ng sequence. So, therefore, i-distribute lang muna natin itong 4 dito sa uh, kay n minus 1. So, 4 times n, kaya 4n yan. And 4 times negative 1, that is negative 4. After that, so pagsamahin lang natin yung dalawang constant natin, which is 3 and negative 4. So, that is 4n minus 1. So, ito yung n term ng sequence natin. So, next. Okay, another example. We have 1, 5, 9, and 13. 
So ulit, ano yung first term natin dyan? 1. Yung common difference natin dyan is 4. Bakit 4? Okay, because 5 minus 1 is 4. So hahanapin natin yung n term ulit. So again, ang a sub 1 natin is 1 plus, so distribute nyo lang ulit. 4 times n, that is 4n. And 4 times negative 1 is negative 3. So, combine similar terms. So, ipagsamahin natin yung 1 minus 4. So, 1 minus 4 is negative 3. So, therefore, yung n term natin is 4n minus 3. In the sequence 50, 45, 40, 35, which term is 5? So, hahanapin natin ngayon yung n. n ang hinahanap dito. So, the first term is 50. The common difference is negative 5 because 45 minus 50 is negative 5. So, and then, the a sub n is equal to 5. So, yung n ang hinahanap natin. So, paano kaya natin kunin yan? So, gamit ulit yung n term of arithmetic sequence. So, substitute lang muna natin yung mga nakuha natin given. So, dito sa a sub n, papalitan natin ng 5. Sa substitute natin yung 5. Is equal to 50 plus n minus 1 times negative 5. So, itong negative 5 na to, i-distribute natin kay n minus 1. So, negative 5 times n, kaya naging negative 5n. Negative 5 times negative 1, that is positive 5. And then, pagsamahin lang natin yung mga common terms natin, yung mga constant, kagaya ni 5, 50, at ni positive 5. So, ang gagawin natin, lipat natin si negative 5n sa kabila. So, maging 5n is equal to 50 plus 5. So, itong 5 na to, lipat natin dito, kaya naging negative 5. So, 5n is equal to 50, divide both sides by 5 para makuha natin yung n. So, n is equal to 10. So, ibig sabihin, yung 5 na yan is yung pang 10 term dito sa given sequence natin. Okay. 5 is the 10th term of or a sub 10 is equal to 5. Okay. Bigyan ko pa kayo ng another example dyan. In the sequence 7, 10, 13, 16, which term is 43? A, your a sub 1 is 7. The common difference is 3. Why? Because 10 minus 7 is 3. And your a sub n is 43. So, n ulit yung hinahanap natin. Gamit ulit yung n term of arithmetic sequence. Sa substitute lang natin yung mga nakuha natin. Based sa given. So, your a sub n, ito yon 43. A sub 1, ito yon 7 plus... Then, distribute nyo lang itong common difference sa n minus 1. 3 times n, that is 3n. 3 times negative 1, that is negative 3. And then, pagsamahin ulit natin, combine similar terms. So, si 3n malilipat dun sa left side. So, kaya maging negative 3n. Si 43, lipat natin sa right side. So, 7 minus 3 minus 43. That is negative 39. So, divide both sides by negative 3. Para makuha natin yung n. So, negative 39 divide negative 3. The answer is 13. 43 is the 13th term or the a sub 13 is equal to 43. Okay, for the next example, the 4th term of an arithmetic sequence is 34 and the 10th term is 22. Find a sub 1. The common difference and the n term. Since a sub 4 is 34 and a sub 10 is 22, so ang gagawin lang natin, mag-add tayo ng 6 times, 6 times ng common difference mula kay 34. So dadagdagan natin ng 6 times The common difference si 34 para makuha natin yung 22. So again, yung 34 na yan is that is the 4th term and yung 22 is the 10th term. So kaya kailangan natin kunin muna yung common difference. Paano? 
So, gamit yung equation, sabi ko kanina, si 34, idadagdag natin yung 6 times the common difference para makuha natin yung 22. Okay. So, ang hinahanap natin dito ay yung common difference. So, lipat natin si 34 sa right side, kaya 6D is equal to 22 minus 34. And that is 6D is equal to negative 12 and divide both sides by 6. Therefore, the common difference is negative 2. Next, to find a sub 1, subtract the common difference from a sub 4. Three times since d should be subtracted, the n minus 1 times from a sub n in order to find the a sub 1. Ibig sabihin, class, okay, Bago dumating yung a sub 4, meron tayong tatlong term, no? Kaya, 3 times the common difference. Minus natin yon kay a sub 4 para makuha natin tong a sub 1. So, si a sub 4, that is 34, kasi baka magtaka kayo bakit subtract ang ginamit. Okay, ang kinukuha natin dito, a sub 1. And then, a sub 4 yung given. Kaya ang gagawin nating method, isosubtract natin 3 times the common difference from a sub 4. So, 34 minus, yung n natin is 3. Okay, this is 4 kasi yung 4 term. No? 4 minus 1, that is 3 times the common difference, negative 2. So, therefore, 34 plus 6. Bakit plus 6? Negative 3 times negative 2 is positive 6. So, yung a sub 1 natin is 40. Last is the n term. Okay, meron na tayong common difference na negative 2, a sub 1 na 40. That is our first term. So, makukuha na natin yung n term ng arithmetic sequence. Paano? Gamit lang yung formula. So, sasubtitute lang natin. Yung a sub 1 natin, which is 40, plus yung n natin, that is, ano ba yung n natin dyan? So, ang gagawin natin, i-distribute natin itong n minus 1 kay negative 2. Kaya, magiging 40 times positive n times negative 2, that is negative 2n. Negative 1 times negative 2, that is positive 2. Therefore, the n term is negative 2n plus 42. Okay, we're going to apply arithmetic sequence in real life situation. Consider this problem. A company offers Jeffrey's starting yearly salary of two hundred forty thousand, with okay raises of twenty thousand pesos per year. What will be his salary on the tenth year? So, bawat tao nag-increase yung sahod ni Jeffrey ng twenty thousand. So, yung starting salary niya is two hundred forty thousand. Ang tanong, magkano na yung sahod niya pagdating ng tenth year? Okay. So, since yung first salary niya, so that is our first term, no? 240,000. And then, yung pang end term natin, yung kinukuha, so that is 10. And then, the common difference is 20,000. Bakit? Iyan yung increase niya every year. So, gamit lang si formula, substitute lang natin ang mga given value. So, 240,000 plus 10 minus 1, that is 9. Times twenty thousand, so two hundred forty thousand plus nine times twenty thousand. The answer is four hundred twenty thousand. So this is the salary now, ni Jeffrey. Pagdating ng tenth year. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you learned something. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell button para updated kayo for more video tutorial. This is your guide in learning your math lesson, your Wow Math channel.